All right, following up on our cat test. So compared to the DDC Enticer S, you have to have the gas on setting two with this plunger, which I believe is the rifle speed 917 plunger. I have to go up to seven to eject and feed with the cat. So compared to the Enticer S, definitely lower back pressure, which is to be expected. Now I've got one uh, 150 grain super loaded and then got some 220 grain subsonic. And it's not even gonna cycle, I know it's not. It's gonna turn into a bolt gun. I'm gonna have to change the plunger for this can. But the first round is gonna be a super and then followed by a sub and then I'll have to manually eject. Oh my God. <laughs> that is the quietest thing ever. Of course it's stovepipe there cause it won't cycle, but. All right. Wow, all right, let's put it all the way up. I normally have to put it on 10 to cycle with the Enticer S. This is not gonna cycle even at maximum 12. Oh, wow. Try to see if I can go down to. Try to go to 11. See if I can cycle on 11. Okay. 10. Cycle on 10. Feed. Uh, I have to get up to 11. Uh, to eject and feed. It's Stupid quiet though. Wow. I'm surprised though. I'm surprised. I, I didn't think that be able to. It actually looked like a decent amount of... Let's actually do this too. Get the ejection for it. And fire off another shot. I can smell the gas, but it's not to my eyes. It's basically just coming out the ejection for it. see I'm not really getting any sparking I got some pretty bad sparking with 556 but I'm not noticing any here but that's part of the break-in period according to cat